In this video, let's see how to get acetophenone. Acetophenone is the simplest of the aromatic ketones. It is used in the manufacture of resins, styrene, pharmaceutical products and fragrances. If you like the video put a like and subscribe. To obtain acetophenone, we will react to an organic magnesium compound with benzoyl chloride to obtain diethyl benzoyl malinate. Diethyl benzoyl malinate heated with water in an acidic medium is hydrolyzed and decarboxylized, leaving acetophenone and ethanol. We are going to get benzoyl chloride by the reaction of thionyl chloride on benzoic acid using the same process already explained in my video on isobutyl chloride. Work in fume hood. To obtain the benzoyl chloride, we will assemble a reflux unit with a three-necked flask 250 milliliters, a condenser and an equalized addition funnel. The flask is cooled using an ice bath and the condenser outlet is connected to the fume hood. Put 16 grams of dry benzoic acid in the flask and 6 grams of thionyl chloride in the addition funnel. Add the thionyl chloride slowly over the acid with stirring while cooling with the ice bath. Once the thionyl chloride has been added, heat in a water bath at 80 degrees Celsius for 3 hours. After this time, install the distillation equipment and distill the thionyl chloride without the water bath until the temperature exceeds 80 degrees. The temperature of thionyl chloride is 76 degrees. The rest is composed of benzoyl chloride that has a boiling point of 192 degrees and is distilled in vacuum. This operation yielded 13.8 grams of benzoyl chloride. Once the benzoyl chloride is obtained, we will prepare the organic compound with diethylmalonate and magnesium. In a 250 milliliters three-necked flask, Place 1.35 grams dry magnesium metal. Add 2 milliliters of dry ethanol and stir. Assemble the reflux condenser protected from moisture with a tube of calcium chloride. Add 0.5 milliliters trichloromethane and install one additional funnel protected with calcium chloride. When the reaction is activated, boil for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, Slowly add 40 milliliters of dry ether, stirring constantly. If the boiling stops, warm the balloon with your hand until the reaction begins. Prepare a solution with 9 milliliters diethylmalonate, 5 milliliters dry ethanol, and 7 milliliters ether. After adding the ether, add the diethylmalonate solution with a low boiling. After the addition of the diethylmalonated solution, heat in a bain-marie. After two hours, most of the magnesium has dissolved. Once the magnesium has completely dissolved, 
Add 7 grams of benzoyl chloride with 14 milliliters of dry ether in 10 minutes. The addition of the benzoyl chloride solution creates a thick green mass that ceases to stir. Heat 20 minutes in a water bath and let cool down. Add solution 8 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid in 50 milliliters water stirring vigorously. It is to be observed how the green mass dissolves. Decanter the organic layer. Wash the aqueous layer with 50 milliliters of ether. Combine the layers of ether and evaporate with no drying. Make a solution using 15 milliliters of acetic acid, 10 milliliters of water and 2 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid. Heat the residue under reflux with acetic acid solution. The reflux is stopped when the bonded layers and are yellow, the reflux lasted about 4 hours. Cool in a bath of ice and make alkali with 20% sodium hydroxide. Remove the organic layer and wash the watery layer three times with 20 milliliters of ether. Dry with anhydrous magnesium sulfate and leave in place for 12 hours. Filter and evaporate the ether. Distiller the resulting product. In the distillation, we will allow the temperature of the steam to increase to 150 degrees. Connect the vacuum and continue the distillation. The distilled product is submitted to the following ketones. The first try is Brady's test. For the Brady test, we will put 4 drops of product into a test tube and 0.5 milliliters of methanol. While agitating vigorously, add 1 milliliter of the Brady reagent. Let stir for about 10 minutes until the appearance of a precipitate orange hydrozone. Brady's reagent reacts with ketones and aldehydes to form insoluble hydrozones. The second test is sodium nitroprusside to confirm if the substance is a ketone. In a test tube, dissolve 4 drops of product in 2 ml of 2% sodium hydroxide alcohol solution. Add a few drops of 1% aqueous sodium nitroprusside solution. The test is positive if the color is red. To prepare the Brady and nitroprusside reagent, I leave you the link from my video trial for ketones and aldehydes. The latest test is the boiling point, which in our test yielded a result between 200 and 206 degrees.